Hello friends, this is Sandra here from Woolifier.com and WimsterDreamsClipart.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Valentine card step by step. And this is super easy and perfect for beginners. If you follow this tutorial step by step, be able to print out the most beautiful vintage DIY Valentine's card ever. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps my channel. Now let's get started. We start out by going to create a design up in the right corner. Search for Valentine's card. Valentine's Day card. Collapse this menu here. We start out by making a grid for this card designs. By this I mean creating a front and back of your card. We go to elements and grids. Now you drag this placeholder or grid until you see this pink line appear here. So go to duplicate here and click it and then you get two of them. When you see the uh, red line here and red line here. We start out by adding colors to this to the back and front of the card. And then I click the back of the card, which is the square on the left. Go to the color selector here. And I will just start out by going with a green color. We will change this, but this is just a start. And then we go to the front and choose another color. In this way, we can easily see uh, the front and the back of the card while we are designing. Now we go to uploads and upload media. And for this design, we are going to use a clip art set from the Whimsy Dreams clip art shop. And it's called Love Locks, and it's perfect for Valentine uh, designs. I download the Love Lock from Whimsy Dreams clip art to my device, and then I go and upload it here. Be sure to use the PNG version of your Love Locks because the background is transparent. I will use number six for this design. Be sure to lock the front of the card while we are applying the graphics and text design. We go to grids and create a placeholder for your key graphic. Something like this. Then we go to uploads and just drag it into the placeholder. Now we have, have to adjust it so that graphic is not cut off in any place here. It's a little bit nudging, but it finally you get it right. Now you go to the background again, which was locked and unlock it and just drag everything to the edge of the card. We do this so that we can center the element inside the card and then lock it again. Now you get a center, you know, line here. So you are sure that the elements, you know, look great when you print your card design. We go to text element here and we add a text here. And then we go and change the font and I will show you uh, a font from the free version of Canva as well as from the pro version of Canva. And for the free version of Canva, uh, we are going to use a font that is called Cupola. Like that. And we are going to nudge the line height here by dragging this. Now it covers the design a little bit, but let's try it like this. Make it smaller. We change color here by going to the color selector and we go to photo colors here so that we get a color that is cohesive with the graphic. So I will go with this darker brown color, <laughs> one of my favorites. And now you highlight the text and the graphic while holding the shift key. Then they are grouped and you nudge them so that they are in the center of the card. 
And now I'm going to show you the pro version font selection and it's called Ollie Tide. A really beautiful font for this design. I really suggest that you go for the pro version of Canva if you're using Canva a lot because you get so many more options. And remember that I am an affiliate and you find a link down in the description as well where you can try out the pro version. So now we change the color here again. I think it's a little too harsh with this font. So I go with a little more light version here like this. And now to the final part of this tutorial. We're going to get it ready for print and change the back to fit the design a little bit better. So. Let's go here and choose this green one. Look how fancy this is. And it's so easy. If you want to create the inside of your card, I will show you how to do that as well. But first we have to go and unlock the front of the card and just drag it. And go to files, show print bleed. This is going to be cut off in the end. So we don't get any white areas that isn't looking good. And to create the inside of this card, you go to duplicate page like this and just remove this. And if you want to add a text to this card, I suggest that you keep this space holder here and lock it and then drag a text inside and just write your personal message and select a font that you love and center it and remember the color as well to change it to something that you like. And now we can remove back. And then we go to download PDF print and crop marks and bleed added and done and download. This is how the final card design looks. And now you print this in your printer at home, or you can also print it at a print shop or online service. Remember to print your design on a sturdy paper, uh, maybe cardstock or alike to, for best result. And crop off the margins as well, so you get clean and crisp edges. Now, I hope you really enjoy this tutorial. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials or videos. And remember to join the Facebook group as well. You find a link below in the description. And if you really love creating and crafting with Canva, please check out my online class as well, where you learn how to create quote printables that you can sell in your Etsy shop or alike. See you in the next tutorial, friends. Bye bye.